Hey, good morning. Wow, this verse is crazy. I, uh, I never expected to see this in this verse. Um, and I knew he was leading me there, here to this verse. It kept playing over and over in my mind a uh, certain a certain passage, a certain sentence, like my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? And we've all heard this. And um, and I'm like, okay, so I, I'm definitely going to look at it. You want me to look at it. And um, I figured, well, maybe I'll get some more clarity. I'll, I'll Maybe I'll see something in that word knowledge that I didn't know. I had no idea it was going to say what it says. Um, and I, so anyways, I'm just going to go over this real quick. I don't want this to be too long. But there's some amazing things going on here, and you'll see it. You'll see it when I get to it. And look, this is the way the Holy Spirit is walking me and teaching me, guiding me right through God's Word. He's unrolling the scrolls to me. He's broken through the seal. I'm born again in the Spirit. Believe that or not, and sometimes I might not act like it, unfortunately, especially in traffic. <laughs> but, so here we go. This is Hosea 4, verse 6. Okay, but I'm going to read it down to 12, but I'm right now I'm just going to go through verse 6. But this is some amazing stuff here. Stick with this one. This is this is freakishly accurate on the description of some things that you'll understand as soon as as soon as they come out of my mouth. And it's the Holy Spirit that's showed me these. He's showing this is what he's showing me and I'm just putting it out there. And I have no doubt. Otherwise, I wouldn't put it out. If I had a doubt, uh, I wouldn't put it out there. That's for sure. And I might stumble at my words sometimes or mispronounce something. But, you know, I have no doubt. So here we go. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of my God, of thy God. Seeing thou had, and this is important, seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Now, it's, it's, it seems very poetic. Uh, it, it seems to say what it means. It looks like they did a fairly decent job here. But uh, there's some words here that uh, aren't quite what you might think. So here we go, Hosea 4, verse 6. My kinsmen, specifically of Israel, meaning the princes of El, the stars, the angels. This is what this means. Understand this. My kinsmen, specifically Israel, the princes of God, are the stars and the angelic host. So my kinsmen, specifically of Israel, the stars of heaven have grown dark. And that's what it says, have grown dark, huddling together as a flock to be cut off at the sight of the theophany, which is uh, showing themselves to, to that they, they themselves are God, showing themselves as God. They have showed themselves as their own God to be dumb and silent, no longer hearing and communicating with God to fail and perish. They are cut down to be destroyed utterly for lack of knowledge and the perception of understanding wisdom, to be unaware by becoming acquainted carnally with the flesh of a person, to have knowledge, to know good and evil, to reveal oneself, to ascertain, to find out for yourself, to be certain for yourself, to ascertain for themselves uh, out of ignorance, therefore being designated for punishment, making yourself a man. There we go, making yourself a man, rejecting and refusing the understanding of wisdom. He forbid it, God forbid it, to flow down. And here we go, check this out. And it says to flow down and melt away, ignorantly, unaware, unable to learn, unable to learn when you've become a man. So now it says, recognize by this experience and confess to perceive and be instructed and be endowed with and acquainted with a familiar friend. We were there, people. We were there. 
uh, as as in in this and this is what his Holy Spirit showed me. As soon as I read that, I knew a familiar friend to uh, befriend the bri bridegroom. I've seen in multiple other verses as in befriending the bridegroom. So to be endowed with his Holy Spirit and become acquainted with a familiar friend, the bridegroom, as befriending the bridegroom, to be kinsmen and to be known to have regard for him, rejecting. Reject and despise a reprobate. Reject and despise a reprobate. That's an unprincipled sinner who is not of the elect of his own, who is disapproved of by a reversal, and a vile person acting as a priest and chief ruler of his own, putting on regalia. And that means emblems and insignias of royalty, especially someone who puts on a crown and holds a scepter and other ornamental things that are used at a coronation that are, also includes distinctive clothing worn and ornaments carried at a formal, at formal occasions as an indication of status. And in the Latin, it means an indication of royal power and privileges as a high priest. So... What is this saying right here? What is this saying? This is what is Holy I had no idea this was going to be in here. I had no idea that to flow down and melt away was in here ignorantly. It's just some great revelation in here. So he says, uh, reject and despise a reprobate. That's an unprincipled sinner who is not of his own, right? A vile person acting as a priest. So this is someone who's acting as a priest, a high priest, and a chief ruler of his own, putting on regalia, emblems, insignias of royalty, especially a crown and holds a scepter. Who does this remind you of? Who is this remind you? Who, who comes to mind? And other ornaments that are used in a coronation of distinctive clothing that's worn. These bright, distinctive clothing to point to show their status as a priest, really, worn and ornaments that are carried at formal occasions as an in indication of status and royal power and privileges as a high priest, causing all, and this person, it sounds like the Pope, it's what it sounds like to me, uh, causing all, and this high priest, right, causes all to forget and be oblivious to the teaching and instruction of the mess in the mess messianic age in the messianic age that means the teaching and instructions and warnings of christ he causes all to forget these things flowing as water so the teaching of christ flows as water and he causes all to forget this to to point out your rulers right the, and that's what Christ's warnings and teachings were about, to point out your rulers and judges, your gods with a small g and goddesses, angels that are as false gods by a demon's imaginations, nobles and wealthy men that are powerful and contemptuous, that means scornfully despising law and order, expressing and manifesting hatred. They express and manifest hatred. Okay, that's... And that causes their children to forget and ignore, to forget and ignore these teachings and instruction and warnings of Christ. Okay, they are sons for the unrighteous men, lifeless things as builders of a family. And who is Christ? The foundation that the builders rejected. As the builders of a family subject to afflictions and appointed to the land of confusion, Babylon, held in captivity in the land of Egypt, born of a rebel. They are born of a rebel and a robber. That's Satan. Uh, them, them who are of the tumultuous one. And the tumultuous means uh, making loud and confused noise, causing confusion and disorder. There's that verse. There's that verse. And I have no doubt, I know, that's a far more accurate translation than what we got out of the King James right there. Men couldn't grasp it. They can't grasp it. Only the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God can lead you into all truth and righteousness. And uh, that's a big one. Uh, I've forgotten the law of thy God. And that word God there is Elohim. 
your rulers and judges, gods and goddesses with a small g, yours who are false gods, angels. And then you go to origin, to origin, to origin, right? And you will see these, and you'll see these words in the lexicons and the uh, strongs that's in there. You'll see it. And and I understand that these certain words, they they can mean multiple things. So you'll see it if you if you look through it look i couldn't th this just flowed i mean he just poured this out i mean it flowed i wasn't searching or scratching my head i had no idea what this verse was says at some points i was like where is this going i thought i was going to learn more about the word knowledge and stuff and he's just leading me through it there it is so now let me read this now you've heard that that's verse six so now let me finish this real quick as they were increased so these children of tumultuous, the tumultuous one, as they were increased, so they sinned against me, God. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame to eat up the sin of my people. And they set their heart on their own iniquity. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their doings. For they shall eat and never have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase. Uh, you know, not continue to have children. Um, because they have left off, off to take heed to the Almighty. Now that word is Lord there, to the Almighty. So they have left off and they have not taken heed to the Lord. Whoredom and wine and new wine takes away the heart. My people ask counsel in their stocks, in their stocks, in their imprisonment, being bound in their chains, right? And their staff declareth unto, unto them, the cha staff of chastisement, right, basically. For the spirit of whoredoms hath caused them to err, and they have gone whoring from under their Elohim. They have went whoring under their gods with a small g and goddesses paying attention to them, worshiping man, worshiping these idols, these vain shows, these these uh, uh, men and women of power. Uh, their Elohim, they have went whoring after their God. And that word God there is Elohim too as well. So look, when you understand the differences in the Bible and you study it being led by his Holy Spirit, the, you know, the church, and I know there's people out there that are going to say, oh, you're wrong. Yeah, it's right there in your own Bible. Just look at it. Just look at it. I mean, if you have a thesaurus and a study Bible, you can study. You'll see it. You'll see it. So there's that. How crazy is that? How crazy is that verse? I would have never thought it said that. I didn't know. I had no idea where it was going when he showed it to me, but I knew he wanted, it was, it was, he put that on me to look that up. And I said, oh, you're going to give me a revelation on what knowledge means, maybe a deeper understanding in this. And then it went through all that. It's pretty crazy. All right. Love and respect to everybody. We're getting there, man. I can see it. You know, I wave at everybody. You know, I'm a friendly guy, kind of, especially at work. I mean, you work with people, you see them all the time. You might not know them or whatever, but you know, it's people you see a lot. I wave at everybody and there's, you know, people will be looking right at you and just not, they just look like right through you. Like, yeah. and like I said before, I've been getting a lot of funny hand, satanic hand gestures back and they don't even realize what they're doing. But <sighs> abomination of desolation takes people at his will saying, I own this vessel, this body. They're not born again. Therefore, I can come in and out or have a demonic presence come in and out and use them at my will. I own it. The abomination of desolation. He owns that temple of that person at the time. I'm not saying they don't have hope. Until Christ comes and snatches us out of here and wraps everything up, we, we, we all have hope. And I hope anybody who's left behind who doesn't get this, God gives you strength because you most likely will be martyred. Understand that. Stand strong. Do not fear death. Do not fear death. This body is a vain show. It's our flesh. We are not in the image of God. We've been intermingled. Understand that we've been intermingled with the seed of the serpent, just as in the days of Noah. All right, so there it is. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.